What's up everyone, this is Coindog here with another GTA video. So in this video we're going to be having a look at my top three paint jobs and customizations for the brand new Hijack Rustin. So the Hijack Rustin was added into the game this uh, this week and um, I was really really excited about this for anyone that's seen any of my previous videos, you know it, it's something pretty unique to the game, there's not anything else that looks like this. Um, you know it, it's not quick but I think with the right customization options on it you can make this look like a really special machine and hopefully the three that I've put for you today will be quite useful. So first up I've gone for this one here which is like a black stealthy kind of style that I was going for. So I've gone for the, the smoothed out uh, rear bumper there, the, the bonnet is also smooth. There's no vents or big um, skirts or anything like that. It's just a, a subtle understated look but I think it all comes together pretty well. Those uh, alloys there with the multi spokes as well just really kind of finish the car off. Um, and I, I think it, it just... It doesn't stand out from the crowd, but it's just something a little bit special. And uh, yeah, so that that's my first one. And there's the specification for it. So if you want to uh, want to copy it and make your car look as good as that one did, then just pause the video. So the next one that I've gone for for you guys, this is my favourite of the three. So this is like the full aggressive look that I've gone for here. So we've got the big splitter, the full ram air hood, and that gorgeous red colour which goes well with all the black that you've got on this vehicle. Um, We've got the vents there in the side side of the skirts, etc. Those nice big black carbon alloys, um, a nice big spoiler as well, and then the big exhaust and the big diffuser there. And I think that's just like the full aggressive look that you could go for with this vehicle. Um, it's definitely my favourite. I think the red that goes with all the black carbon that's on the inserts on the doors and everything really goes well together. Um, so yeah, that that's the one that, that, that I'd recommend the most out of the three. So that there's the specs again for that guys, if you want to copy that down then just pause the video. And then the last one I've got for, for you guys is kind of a mix between the two. Um, it's in the, the yellow colour which you've probably seen a lot of people do, mainly because the yellow goes really really well with the black inserts on the doors. We've got some nice deeper dish rims there as well, which um, and then we've got like a bigger spoiler, but then we've got the smooth back end as well. So I've, I've kind of mixed the previous two that you've seen together to make this one. Um, which I, I think it all works together quite well to be honest um, this car isn't the easiest to come up with really unique looks for um, but I think you can make some really bad looking ones but equally you can also make some pretty good ones which I, I'm hoping that you guys think that I've done here with these three um, so once, once again there's the specification for that if you want to copy it down um, and let me know below in the comments which of the three you, enjoy, you, you think looks the best um, I'd really appreciate it if you like this video as well, that all helps. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll be back again soon with another video. Thanks very much.